today I'm going to show you exactly how to build one of the most expensive swim baits on the market from start to finish. I'm going to break it down into three easy steps. One, painting. Then step number two is going to be clear coating, which I have here. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. And then finally, the third step is going to be putting on the fins, the eyes, and then finally the hooks as well. These Hinkle Shad are finally available for purchase. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video to see how you can purchase or make one of these Hinkle Shad yours. I'm only gonna release a limited amount. So make sure you guys pay attention to when I'm dropping them and how to get in touch with me. But again, stick around to the end of the video and I will go into all the details on that. You guys don't need to be afraid doing this. It's a extremely expensive swim bait. I've got a handful of them here. If you guys haven't watched the unboxing video, I actually ended up ordering 17 of these Hinkle Shad in both trout and the shad. So if you haven't, if you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. But this is part number two where I'm actually gonna be building the baits from start to finish. So at this point, let's jump into step number one and start painting. So now that we've got our shad set up here, I've just clipped them into a little holder. I don't actually know what you guys call these things, but uh, just little alligator clips to maneuver the bait while I paint. It's gonna get a little loud here, so I'm just gonna kind of play some music, let you guys watch along. Uh, probably won't speak too much along the painting process. I'll make the uh, chapters down below, so if you guys wanna skip this, uh, just skip ahead to the next step, go ahead. But other than that, like I said, I'm just gonna start painting. These are gonna be kind of my first couple basic colors. I've done this before, and this is just gonna be, like I said, a silverish uh, bone belly, a little bit of black, a little bit of purple in the, in the backside, just your classic shad color. We'll see where it takes us, but that's a cool thing about painting them yourself is you kind of paint them up however you want to. So check this out, guys. I'm gonna start off just hitting it with a base coat of white and then uh, we build on it from there. The key to cool colors are just to layer. So you wanna start with your lighter colors and then kinda I like to at least build my way up to my darker colors. You can get some cool accents just when the bait turns in the light, you get a little bit different shades rather than just going all the same color.
All right, guys, that's a wrap on step number one. So we've got the baits painted up. As you guys can see, they turned out great. Super cool, a little bit of a silver shad, some black, some purple, grays, uh, some you know bone in the belly. We got white pearl in there as well. So when that bait hits with that silver and then white pearl, there's gonna be a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of flash, but not too much. So that step number one is complete. Now we can either wait for the paint to dry or go ahead and hit it with a heat gun right here make that paint set, and then we can go ahead and clear coat. So now that we're done with step one, which is painting the bait, step number two is going to be clear coating the bait. So what I normally like to use is this diamond clear coat finish. They make an actual, almost like a paint. It comes in a can, it's like a liquid. It's pretty thick stuff. I've used that before. I've tried a number of different other clear coats as well but this diamond clear coat finish that comes in this spray paint can has been my favorite so far. It's really easy to use. It's just like spray paint. Pop off the cap here, and again, you guys can see it just looks just like a spray paint bottle. And what I do is, again, all the hooks are off. The bait is painted, dried, everything like that. I'll end up you know, putting a glove on and hanging the bait and then hitting it with this diamond clear coat finish. So all I'm gonna do is spray this all over the bait, making sure I hit it from a number of different angles, uh, making sure that I hit everywhere where there's like a gap. And I'm going to do that for, th for three t a total of three times. So for me, I've just found that that's best, especially on these Hinkle Shad. I feel like three coats is the best. Now this stuff says it takes 48 hours to dry. That's about what I found. I normally let it go another day just to be sure, but I'll go ahead and hit it with that first coat. And then I wait about an hour. I'll hit it with a second coat, again, all covering all the bait. And then I'll wait another hour and then I'll go ahead and hit it for a third time with this diamond clear coat. So super easy guys. You guys can buy this stuff, I believe on Amazon. Super easy to use. It's a little expensive, but like I said, I've had zero issues with it and it's not very heavy, which is really important for these Hinkle Shad because you want to maintain the buoyancy or the sink rate of that bait. If you guys use a heavier clear coat, it's going to cause the bait to sink faster, which in my opinion can sometimes deter a fish from committing. You want that bait to suspend as much as possible if you can control it. And now let's jump into step number three and which is the final step, and that is going to be gluing on the fins, which we have laid out here in front of us. All right, so the final step, or the third step, is going to be gluing on the fins. And the best way that I have found for this is just to use straight up super, glide, super glue, as you guys see here. I like the gel kind so it doesn't run, but ultimately just use super glue to go ahead and glue on the fins and the gills. And that's going to complete our Hinkle swim bait. It's that simple, super easy, doesn't take a ton of time for the last couple steps. And as you guys can see, it's a fantastic finished product. Hopefully you all enjoyed that video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, share this video out with your friends. If you guys have friends that are interested, you know, in swim baits, or maybe they're interested in purchasing one of these Hinkle Shad, go ahead and share this video with them. Also, go ahead and drop a comment down below on your favorite glide bait or swim bait. I'd be very curious to hear that as well. With all that said, let's jump into uh, what I talked about at the beginning of the video on how to make one of these Hinkle Shad yours. I am going to be releasing a limited number of these Hinkle Shad this Friday, the 16th of February at 6 p.m. And I'm going to post those on my Facebook page, which I'll link down below. It's going to be a first come first serve. Whoever messages me first will have access to these baits. So you're going to want to stay on top of that. You know, message me quickly after that 6 p.m. mark and we'll make one of these Hinkle Shad, your, uh, Hinkle Shad yours. I'm only going to be releasing four baits. I'm going to be releasing two painted baits and two unpainted. They're going to be market price. I'm going to take a look at, you know, what they're going for on eBay, but they're extremely rare and uh, tough to get your hands on. So fortunately for you guys, for following this channel, you guys are going to have special access to potentially making these glide bait yours. So that's kind of a little perk for, you know, subscribing to this channel. But 
I'm only going to be releasing four. They're going to be market priced. The unpainted version are going to be $50 less each. Shipping is going to be included in the price I put up there and we'll work out all the payment details. I've got pretty much everything on Facebook Messenger, but I'll make sure to get those out to you guys as soon as possible. But again, they drop this Friday, the 16th at 6 p.m. So you're not gonna wanna miss those. You're not gonna wanna be late. As soon as they sell out, guys, as soon as those four sell out, they're done. So I can't promise that I'm gonna have any more of these baits released before the swim bait season you know end of march or you know getting into march april we're getting into the perfect time to throw these big glide baits i can't promise if you know that more baits will be released before that time if ever so this is your chance this is your opportunity to hop on those four baits again and uh, i will have those on my facebook page this friday the 16th which is linked down below so go ahead and check that out these swim baits have particularly caught me some of my biggest bass in my lifetime. I'll bet you, you know, 10 to 20 of my all time biggest bass have all come on some particular type of swim bait and some have even come on these Hinkle Shads. So fantastic glide bait. You guys aren't going to want to miss this one. I know they will work for you. You just got to put in the time and throw them and you guys will catch some of the biggest bass of your life. I mean, hands down, no questions asked. These baits are phenomenal. Like I said, they've worked for me and I know they can work for you as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Drop a like for this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the videos coming down the line. I will talk to you all soon.